Do what you can with all you have, wherever you are. Complex ambition. Beautiful music, painting pictures, it'd be my vision. Shout out to everybody out there in the world. You guys could be anywhere in the world, but you're here with us today. Complex Ambition. So, my name is YI, and today we're bringing you a review and reaction to Kalani. She gave us a couple good, good videos. Yeah. You, you guys saw a couple of our reactions uh, during the album. When we get to them, you're going to see clips from them. But, uh, man, this is the sophomore uh, album, official album. She's had a couple projects, EPs and stuff here yeah. and there. But the last time we saw an album was when we reacted to this right here, Super Sexy Savage. That's crazy. That was a, a classic uh, video. So old. I think we did it in my driveway. I think we had a, the girls in it. She's that, um, you know, the one that girls love on Twitter. Everything Absolutely. like her and Janae. But Kalani, this time around, I think it's another level. I think it's like she's like the queen right now. It's and hopefully, wild. hopefully this album can take her there. Yeah. Um, because I think it's well deserved. I think she's a great vocalist. She has a great image. She has a great personality to her. She's very different and she's very sociable, especially with these rappers. Man. And that's a beautiful thing to see. And and. This album is extremely, you know what I'm saying? By the looks of it, it's going to be a little, mm. a little nasty, nasty, nasty. A little, a little, a little freaky dank. A little freaky dank. I got the title of the album from Drake from a conversation she had at Drake's house. Mm. She said that she randomly, uh, you know, it was good until it wasn't. And Drake was like, hold up. Wait, stop right there. What'd you just say? It was it's good until it wasn't. wasn't. Call that the album. Oh, um, I guess you're right. Hey, Drakey Drake. And that was Drake. the, I think that was the exact conversation I I'm excited. I love the cover. Let's go. This is dope. Kalani. <laughs> By the way, that cover, back and forth, that shit's fire. Oh, my God. My oh, God. We thought we gave you the idea, bitch. <laughs> oh, my God. We don't say bitch with disrespect. Shout to E-40. It's toxic. Track one. Here's our reaction. She got that body. She got that body. Kalani, you are a blessing in disguise. That's what that baby do for you. Listen, uh, we can't forget. <laughs> Snapback game. Impeccable. Damn right we take turns being grown. Like something your girl would send you, you know oh what I'm saying? Man. Like, what is, you know what I'm saying? What's all this, nigga? Kalani out here giving us, you know, like, like girlfriend vibes. Oh, uh, look at that arc, though. <laughs> Why is she doing that to us? You love that song, to be honest. That's dope, I guess, how she started the album with it. No, Moving absolutely. on. Absolutely. Uh, the one that you said, that she said. The, the one that I said, that she said, that Tori said, <laughs> that we are gonna say, yeah. is an ass one. Can I? With Mr. Quarantine himself. This is so good to be illegal. Knee round to one knee to sick wall. Tell your girlfriend that you're single. Call me all because of cool hearts. We love you for like a porn star. Neck and soap, baby, dog. God, too loud, I tell a boat. God, at this point. I love that shit. Get into that Spanish bag, mommy. You can do you gotta Yo, do you. She's flowing. Can't lie. Can't lie. Sex tape yeah they 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 went back and forth really well they work cohesively really well i don't know i don't know if they worked together ever before they said this shit was really nasty i didn't really hear it because they were flowing so well yeah sometimes uh pipes drip a lot yeah. niggas can't hear themselves this shit so good should be illegal. Knee round two, I need a sequel. Hit the backboard like a free throw. Okay. Off the uh, bat. Okay. Damn, I didn't hear none of that shit. She's talking about the pussy like it's a basketball. Damn. Got your head banging. Damn. Bruh. You next level, you a cheat code. And so deep, you hit my sea floor. Damn. Damn, nigga. I got I did not hear any of that. I didn't catch that shit. She was flowing, nigga, like that. That's like, what I'm saying. I'm he's singing like Alicia. I thought she was just saying she sings beautifully like Alicia. Oh. She, the nigga's fucking her. And he's She's making her singing. sing like Alicia Keys. Oh. Uh, If a bitch starts singing like that, that's, you gotta stop fucking. That's a problem. That's a problem. If that shit's on fire, ooh. head game stupid, baby loca, too loud, calle la boca, mm. out this world, you supernova, fuck that, I'm coming over. That's so well written. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. That was, that was good pockets, good pocket flows. Leave with juices on your T-shirt. God damn. Nigga got pussy juice on his flannel. <laughs> <laughs> that's hard to clean off. My God. <laughs> that's a that's a permanent stain. Oh my God, my nigga. We thought that nigga had arts and crafts class. What the fuck is that, nigga? Glue? Holy shit. <laughs> Gotta scrape that shit off. Cut the shit off the flannel. <laughs> so, my nigga Tory Lane says, Shoddy, you know you can always stop by. You top five and know you're not five. You ride Damn. my face just like a porn star. I'm in it so deep, I caught a broke jaw. 
Damn. Like the R&B version of Meg Thee Stallion and the Baby. Wow. Tori, he can get into any bag, really, yeah. literally any bag. Bad news by herself. That's really nice. Really good. I like this shit a lot. No way. Make you wanna spend that time on us. Make make you wanna give wow. up that shit. Make you wanna see your name on my. <laughs> She's making you appreciate her voice more. I forgot how good of a singer she she oh, is. Man. Nigga, that song that song by itself is better than the whole uh, Justin Bieber album. Holy shit. <laughs> My God. Better than the whole uh changes. Get that shit out of here. That song was good. Damn, nigga, I like that song. Dude. I like it too. I like it too. <laughs> <laughs> There's something about R and B and soul that just hundred percent. Nigga, it feels a different. Like, rap feels like the upper half of my heart. Yeah. R&B and soul feel like the bottom half. I swear to God, nigga, never, never a better a pair. Yo. Nigga. We see a lot of major dope uh, releases. Ari Lennox, uh, Summer Walker, Kalani, Jenny Aiko. Mm. You're, you're, you're right on time, girl. You're yeah. right on time. And you're Absolutely. impressive so, so far. This one's called Real Hot Girl Skit. See what I'm saying? I knew there had to be some skits on here because this album was kind of short. This is the best motherfucking pussy a nigga ever had in his motherfucking life. This is the type of pussy making a nigga not even think twice. I don't even be asking for shit. The nigga just asked to pick me up some shit. He just won't go buy me shit to pussy so motherfucking good, all right? She probably called her and shit. Told the bitch a story. Meg, all I need is, is 15 to 20 seconds of you talking about that pussy girl. All right, say less, girl. I do that shit every day, 24-7. And I already, every day already. So that's, that, that, that's nothing. That little nigga want to pick me up. My pussy so tight, nigga. Ooh, 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 ooh. I, I never thought I was going to say those words in my life. Holy shit. <laughs> Fucked up my whole oh, life. Oh, right maybe now. another song about pussy water. Damn. Swim with Pisces every night. She's swimming she, with a Pisces. Oh, she's swimming. What Pisces. I think YG's a Pisces. She said that shit in Breakfast Club. YG my nigga, though. Yeah. So she's coming at us. What's going on here, girl? Literally, I don't. I'm not into astrology. I'm not literally, into astrology. Literally, literally coming at us. I'm not into that astrology shit. Literally coming at us. What do you mean, like sexually? Ha oh, yeah, nigga, I'm not sexually. <laughs> Fuck it, nigga, it's done. It's That was kind of like a, a single vibe as well, cause the mm -hmm. hook it mm -hmm. gives it more of like a, that pop feel rather than just pure R&B. The more I listen to it, nigga, the more I feel intimidated by her. Oh my gosh, yeah, this I... is this is crazy. The aggression that she's coming off of with this this pussy talk is different. Nigga, imagine being with a like like imagine being with her, where it's like, damn, the nigga she's been with some top tier niggas. Oh my god. Maybe you know, maybe the, the top is the tears. The, the the one of the princes of R and B. Oh my god. Maybe one of the kings of basketball right now. Oh my god. And also this nigga, you can't. One of the hoodest rappers ever. Oh my god. He's so hood he wears dress clothes and niggas can't say shit about it because that nigga's fly. That's how hood he is. So is, imagine imagine that comparison. Who's next? <laughs> not us. We're nah, not, no how no. We're not handling that shit. No 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 no. Imagine in dinner. <sighs> you don't. YG used to. Kyrie used to. Party used to bitch. I don't give a fuck. You, you know compare what? me I'm to done. these I'm niggas. I can't done. compete with them niggas, I'm girl. Done. I can't compete with them God niggas. Damn. I can't compete with Kyrie's meatloaf, bitch. I got a fucking pasta. I just heated that shit up real quick. I can still have iPhone sixes. <laughs> Calm down. I try to change your life, featuring Janae Aiko. This is gonna be interesting right here. Janae's another one. Oh Janae's my. another top tier. The oh. su the song She's a top tier getter. She's a strong sisters. Collaborating and their yeah. voices, you know, they both are obviously songstresses of R&B and the top queens right now. But their voices are so like different that they work well when you yeah. hear it together. Like it's yeah. such a ju juxtaposition. Like Janae's kind of more like I don't know, I don't want to say squeakier, but kind of like 
high more, pitch, more high pitch, pitch more, kind of like innocent more, like not, like a girly more. Uh, Kalani has like a little, little rasp, a little rasp, ras. you know what I'm saying? Nay, I immediately thought of like this little mystical, like this little, you know what I'm saying? A little fucking butterfly. Yeah, like a butterfly, exactly. And what, 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 what the Kalani is, like she was cemented as a strong person. Right? Yeah. I'm not saying Janae is not, but I'm just saying yeah. it's that juxtaposition there. And I thought the track was beautiful. I enjoyed it from the very beginning. It reminded me of like old R&B. Another skit. Back to the streets. Oh, you belong. You belong to the streets. We get it. Right, it's it's not a nigga. Right, Y'all got a problem with her always having a different nigga? It's not a problem with I'm just saying, though. It just be so fast. I mean, she be she make it our business by posting that shit everywhere. See these niggas, she belong to the streets. She was a street. Dang, that's funny. Why would you put that in there? That's bad funny. Next song, Everybody's Business. This song's been out for a while. Nothing to make me feel bad for loving. What you must take. Going insane. What are they talking about? I'm really, I'm really happy. Man. Her voice is really good. Her voice is really good, man. She hasn't dropped the ball thus far. Moving on, right here, next song, "Hate the Club" featuring my seagull. Uh, my seagull's another R&B artist. Uh, man, I, I, I love I my like seagull. A, I like a lot of his like stuff that be put on Twitter. He has like a lot of good hooks and shit, man. That nigga be singing too. Nah, man, he's a fucking <clears throat> this man right here. Knows how to play like twenty instruments. God bless you, bro. I've been, I've been following him for years and years. He collaborated with a lot of artists that I like. A lot of you know lesser known artists, but he's popped off and I really enjoy it. Let's see right here if they. <laughs> Saxophone. saxophone beautifully right there um he didn't have any maybe a little bit of background vocals maybe maybe, maybe some production credits behind like, yeah. a, 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 besides the um the, the saxophone yeah but that was a beautiful track man Be what a beautiful story yeah she hits the club man being into really relatable story i think a lot of girls can really relate to that. even some Hell yeah. guys Hell yeah. and especially guys so what the fuck some motherfuckers go to the club because they know that girl's gonna be there you know that Ooh. specific girl and in her case it was this guy and she knew the nigga was gonna be there and, and if they pregame you get drunk enough at home you might get convinced to end up going now you put that uh that wall down that's what happens a lot yeah you that's why niggas need a drink they gotta get that wall down they know it they're feeling up tight blah blah, blah. i gotta get a couple drinks and oh my gotta, God. Get, gotta get loose motherfuckers man listen uh <clears throat> next track right here serial lover this is gonna be dope because of the title hopefully man <laughs> Probably my favorite song so far. She literally is a serial lover, though, through everything that we see, witnessing in the public, and that's from what we just see. And that, and that's that see. skit. That's that skit. She belongs to the streets. You mad uh, niggas is in that. Uh, uh, she, uh, sees, uh. she sees the judgment. She sees yeah. it, you know, so she questions herself, like, damn, I'm a serial lover. Like, this is real deal. Like, and, and a lot, I, I know a person, a lot of girls go through that where they can't not be with someone. Yeah, they get that attachment, you know, they can't be alone. Yeah. And that, that's very dangerous, obviously. Everything in excess is dangerous, but in this <gasps> case, man, she, that shit was, off. she was questioning whether this was time for her to be with herself more. And I think I think it's always great to be with yourself. Yeah. There's a lot of things you can learn just being yeah. with yourself. You have a child too, uh, now Kalani, yeah. so like, you gotta, you know, you know what to do. Yeah, you, you know, know what, what to do. do. Man. Next song right here, here's our reaction. Fuck and make up. That's a great shot, nigga, I'm telling you. Fuck and make up like it's Maybelline. We do petty things. I already know. Damn! We just fuck and make up like it's Maybelline. She had a child, too. That's crazy. Wow. Can I say it? Who is this nigga? You're so good, I might have to piss you off. I might have to go see. You handle it. 
Here we have Can You Blame Me featuring Lucky Day, one of the rising prominent R and B acts right now, uh, especially in the underground. People love this guy. Yeah. This is this better be fire. That nigga killed that shit too. Yo, that nigga Lucky Day, he, it was short, but it was like all you Ugh. needed. You didn't even need more than that. Damn, nigga. You didn't need more than that. It's like it's having like song. a really good, like really well done appetizer. Yo, that's crazy. That's crazy. She, that that was well done. Um, that's crazy. This R&B, man. 2020 R&B is, is some next next level shit, man. Yeah, the Vision album was different. These R&B acts have been putting up. D D damn. Wait, Lani, I really enjoy this shit. So far. <laughs> oh. Not even so far, nigga. We're almost done. Yeah, we're almost done. Next track is Grieving featuring God, James Blake. James Blake, nigga. God damn. Damn. My god. Did Rick Rubin executive produce this? Yo. Asking for space, I give my leg for it. Now I will bet that you will lose me like that. While I'm grieving. Oh, oh, oh. Name a bitch to kill me like that. Now all well, I can understand how you would be attracted to me. No one was ever given so many. Well, I'm grieving. He wrote this. This is crazy. Wow, Kaylani really coming different, like artistically. This is fire, nigga. You know how good that song was. Wow, do you understand? That might how be her best song. That might be her best song. That's crazy. Holy shit! It's such a James Blake DNA fully. Like, oh and my when he God. when he did the hook, then he he confirmed it. Yeah, he confirmed it. Holy shit! I'm grieving. Oh, oh, oh. God damn! You can't even play this shit while you're grieving, cause you might you Woo. might. You might, just, you might just, ah, you might just go. You might just go. God might transcend your body. <laughs> this is called Open Passion. It came out today. It's a single for today. New Passionate. video today. Um, man, basically the last song. Do I got your way to open to be open? Is the land just in it? Just wait till you hold me down when I'm across the ocean. Still more left. Get into the passion side. Okay. She on some Travis Scott shit. God damn. Oh. Oh shit. God damn it. Oh my god. Every song is a journey. This is crazy. Lexi's oh, outro, the outro to the album. I believe Lexi is her friend. Uh, was an up and coming artist who passed away recently. God bless, man. Um, wow. I, I'm, I, I forgot that that happened while wow, she's adding this to the album. Yes. Lexi's outro. Too much envy in the air, jealousy over there. They energy hella weird. Gotta keep a distance, cause them bitches slipping. You will not catch me slipping. You will not catch me tripping. Cause my grandma go through summer with no air conditioning. I try to tell them get it right, but they don't never listen. Ain't got no time to make no accidents, cause you gotta be passionate. If you want something, you gotta go at it. Misery love company. Don't ever let these niggas keep you down. Like, see like, Joey Badass. They see you, down. you gotta act like you on top, even if your shit's up. Damn, Lexi. I didn't know you came like that. that Phenomenally Lexi. impressive. That Lexi outro. That Lexi shit was different, man. Uh, rest Damn. in peace, Lexi. Um, it goes to show you that you know Kalani, man. She she really wears her heart on her sleeve. She's 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 not afraid to embrace that. And I didn't know it was that. I didn't know it was gonna happen. That I forgot completely about that Lexi thing. It was like a big thing to her all over social media. And God she bless, incorporated man. her to the album, and I think in the best way possible. That God was dope, God making bless. her the outro. Especially making it 
Fuck. Her going hard. Man. She was spitting like like a like um. I remember Meek Mill's artist Lil Snoop? Mm. But she was like the the female mm. version. She sounded like Lil Snoop just spitting. Lil Snoop, Rest in man. peace, Lil Damn, Snoop too. Lil Snoop too, man. man. One thing to highlight I say is that from the fact that she's um bisexual, um or if she ever even considers herself any type of sexual, she's into both sexes. Um, she in her lyrics she says a lot of the time uh, she instead of he, which so typically you expect from an R&B female, right? But that makes it easier for, you know, a guy like us to sing along because the lyrics mm. is like, you know, she can play with the I sexes like in the lyrics. It I makes like it more universal, you know, because she kept saying she and shit. Yeah. So I was like, okay, I can say that shit too. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even know. I ain't talking about no nigga. I ain't talking okay, about no nigga. Okay, wow. Because it's like, you know, it's That's like, uh, but it was the opposite when I remember who, uh, Frank Ocean, what's the song that Frank Ocean said? Uh, Take about you? Oh yeah, a turn. Uh, I've been thinking, and it was a he, and she's had that shit. But I still sing that shit. I don't give a fuck. I just, I just whisper he when he gets to the he part. Um, but that's my you do shit. It for yourself. I do it for myself. That's for me. <laughs> I keep that one. That's that one's for me. That's my shit. Um, <laughs> but it's dope, man. I uh, didn't even realize it subconsciously. I was probably singing along to. Mm-hmm. You know, wow, that's she's crazy. Saying she, it, nigga. I'm like, okay, she. Damn, yeah, that's she. dope. What's uh, that real? I like that shit, my nigga. Yeah, Good job, my nigga. Niggas, niggas be analyzing, man. Um, I like that shit, I'm trying to think if she ever, she was. Oh, was the woman that she had the baby with? That's what it was. She had a baby, but they had a what do you call that? Uh, damn, the, the whole process. That Wait, whole was process. Kalani? Kalani was pregnant though. But she was pregnant. She was but a they surrogate. Had, they had a surrogate. Yeah, she, she but, was a surrogate. Yeah, but they had it. Uh, I don't know if she. They she got an egg singer? from the girl, from that girl she was with. But she had it, I think, during that relationship with that girl. So it's their child. You know, it's a complicated situation mm. if we're being, you know, uh, looking on the surface. But obviously, prayers to them. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, Kalani's out in the open here. Uh, beautiful project. I, I love it. I love it, man. I'm not going to lie. Uh, yeah, man. Because I was ready to be critical because their hype on this shit is crazy. On Twitter? My God. And you know what it was, too? I was um, I was ready to come into this really expecting that really nasty, nasty, nasty. Yeah. All throughout the album. And That's I came what we got with, with Toxic mindset. and all the other shit. FMNU and then Toxic and then a Dirty Talk with, with, uh, with Tori. The, Tori. I heard oh the snippets God. on that shit and I was like, okay, that's what the album's going to be about. I'm interested because the videos are dope, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. She's coming in with that classic R&B sex vibe. Yes. Okay. But when she came in was that classic R&B, just soul vibe. Yeah. And that shit really blew me away, especially that track with Janae. Oh, you know, that man. track with this Lucky, Lucky Day. Day. They oh. called it a, a soundtrack to his life. There you go. <laughs> that nigga Drake always got to be around doing some shit. That nigga Drake, go the fuck home, my nigga, and go to bed, please. Soundtrack to your life, Drake. Stop, Calm man. down, Straight. toxic nigga. Let us know how do you guys feel about this project, Kalani. You guys saw our faces. You guys saw the motion, the sing-alongs. It was a vibe. Man. It was a vibe. Um, let us know how you guys feel. Whew. Compare this to Super Sexy Savage. Does this live up to that? Um, I think it's. I think it's better, man. Uh, off first listen, I think it's better. I was reviewing it uh, earlier, looking through the track list, remembering that that uh, that album. But I like this one better. I'm not. I think she lived up to that R&B hype of the year. This, uh, uh, so far, this is a good-ass release. Good-ass project. Um, really great project, man. Yeah, man. Everybody, thank you guys for watching. Until next time, quarantine, stay safe. Please be healthy. And, yeah, that's it. Woo! It was good until it wasn't. Mm, fuck, you make me crazy.